let's go behind the scenes. We've got three concerts this week, so let's jump right in. say that every violinist who has a job in an orchestra has had to play this piece, has had to learn it. So it's like an audition orchestra excerpt? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a favourite. I think it's the number one favourite when it comes to auditions. Everyone has to do it everywhere. Firstly, the first bar, it has to be perfectly articulated. Then comes the high top notes, very loud and fortissimo. Nothing is easy when it comes to Strauss. He was a violinist himself. Everything's really complicated. You spend hours and hours practicing it, but at the same time, it's kind of a violinist dream because you can show off all your skills, your musicality and technical side of uh, performance and everything. I know that uh, Cosima Wagner, Wagner's wife, she was quite angry with Strauss she, because as a Wagner's wife, she would be all into the esoteric and transcendental music, trans, you know, that transforms human being. But this piece, it just tells a story Everyone knows the story, Don Giovanni or Don Juan or Don Juan. It's a man who is obsessed with seducing women wherever he goes. Usually ends really badly with Mozart, Don Giovanni, he is brought to hell by the demons. This one ends differently because Strauss chose a different story. Don Juan is not seducing women just because he is seducing them because he's searching for the one for the perfect one, and then at the end of the story he gets really tired of the search. He gets himself into a duel with the father of another mm. lady, and mm. um, yeah, and he lets himself be killed. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I can all do all these things in London. It's a, an orchestra which I actually visit almost every year. Over the past uh, 15, 16 years, we have done many tours. We have been in Asia together. Um, I've played at London Proms with them. And uh, this is going to be a great season for me. For the first time I will have the opportunity to do some chamber music with musicians from the London Philharmonic. We are going to perform Dvorak uh, Piano Quintet number no. 2, where I'm planning to play the piano part. Mm -hmm. 
and then we will do the Bruch Octet, which is a great piece, not very well known. It's a wonderful piece which I always try to program when I have the opportunity to play with orchestra members because um, I also need a double bass for that. And usually in chamber music festivals, the double bass is not always there. So when I go to an orchestra and can play chamber music with them, then I usually program the Bruch Octet. Then we are also doing the Shostakovich Octet, which is a very early piece by Shostakovich. But already uh, very typical for Shostakovich, actually. 